This is that smaller arch. I'm betting that these little raceways we see are where either sewers or waterways. This panel's interesting. There's the Jewish, um, can't remember what that's called, that six pronged deal there. From the Latin above, it seems to have referred to the Senate and to Vespasian, the lower left hand corner, but also uh, Augustus. Maybe it's Vespasian Augustus. On this side, which is opposite where most of the tourists go, uh, in fact, there are not any over here, maybe uh, the best restoration of what it might have looked like. Means of this uh, marbled surface here. I wonder at the park, pocked hold columns, what caused those? There, of course, you can see those um, protrusions, if you will, line of them. Those held the masts that for the large pieces of wood that went up through the stone. If you look up there, I'll just go up there and take a look closer. Look. Right, right up above them, and they channeled up through that top. And those held the large canvas cover. And then they had sailors, believe it or not, who operated pulleys exactly where they stood I don't know to uh, to make that curtain go up and down now, I believe that all of these arch niches for lack of a better term were all filled with statues this looks like a relatively recent niche hammered out for the benefit of whoever that is and those steel structures look like the outside portion of the support devices that I guessed may have been installed in the 18th or 19th centuries. Keep the building from coming apart. This is the B line, and I think it's the oldest one. And at the Kabur metro station, if you will. Tells us that the next train will be here in a minute. Here she comes, up out of the ground a little bit. This is line A, which I think is the newer line. It looks like it, and a lot more uh, single tunnels, and I think it's because they probably bored it with a big machine, whereas they might have actually mined the other one. The only time line A comes above ground, I think, is when it crosses the Tiber River. For some reason it's going very slowly. Usually they come hauling. <laughs>
This one's just creeping for some reason. Here it comes. It might be the computer stopped it because it was ahead of schedule for some purposely gone to the end of this tram because it's kind of fun when the tram starts making curves you feel like you're inside of a worm that's twisting and turning and you're starting to see it now. So the cars are shifting to the right. I'm looking way up to the left. These people will come on and play their way down the train and attempt to make some money. Sometimes it's for a religious cause. Now we're dropping down, as you see. A little dip there. So we're hooking to the right and going up a little bit as we approach Barberini Station. Then we'll straighten out for the you know, pick up passengers. This is, of course, quiet and peaceful. It's Sunday afternoon, about two or three. Uh, tomorrow, in the late afternoon, will be absolutely jammed, as you might imagine. Now that Pizzale Novona, which I had as my goal the last part of this afternoon. At this far end, and particularly on the left, you can pick out the uh, end of one long uh, oval, if you will, uh, that was the racetrack prepared by the uh, Emperor Domitian. This is the original entrance to Domitian's racetrack. And notice that it's about 25 feet below grade that I'm standing on now. That gives you an idea of how much debris has been added to the surface of Rome in 2,000 years, plus or minus. With the camera, we can poke down inside there a bit. Now I'm slightly orientated. There's that court of law building that's on the Tiber River that I passed yesterday when I was strolling the river. Perhaps during regular weekday business hours we could get access to that area down below, but not now. This is apparently a diagram of what the racetrack looked like. <laughs> 